Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can handle image form uploads in Fast API. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to upload an image inside a form inside the Fast API and we're going to display it on the next page. So this is going to be a simple uh, Fast API tutorial where I show you how to handle image submissions on form in Fast API. So let's begin. So I'm going to make a new file here, something like images dot py and we can start working here all right so first of all obviously i'm going to import the fast api and also what we're going to have is we're going to have the request and also the upload file function here and also the file function here and we're going to have the responses so for the response i'm going to have the html response because we are eventually going to return an html page in response instead of a generic json response and also we're going to have the static files imported from the fast api.static files because we're going to work with static uh, files which are actually the images inside this function inside this application and from the templating we can uh, import the ginger 2 templates to work with the html templates inside our fast api and now i can just import os and i can also import another library which is shutil this library is basically used to handle images inside fast api uploads so let's work uh, let's import that as well all right so we have done all the imports now we can start working with our application so that's going to be first of all i'm going to uh, import the fast api as an app and then i'm going to mount the static folder so for mounting the static folder it's basically allowing fast api to access the static file directory so for that i'm going to do what is app dot mount and then it's going to be the slash static so the fast is going to mount the static files on the slash static folder and this directory is going to be the static files object and now i can refer to the directory of our static folder so that's eventually going to be the static directory i have developed i have also declared right here all right so this is going to be the static directory here and now we can move forward and now we can uh declare the templates directory so the template directory is going to be the ginger do templates object with the directory equals to template this is because i have the templates directory in the uh, in the same path as my file uh, of application which is uh, present right here itself which is images.py and i have the templates folder in the same directory so i can just simply pass the directory equals to template in the argument of ginger do templates object now i'm going to declare the upload directory so this is where the all the uploaded files will actually get stored so this is going to be uh, just simply the static slash uploads because that is where i'll just uh, store all my uploads eventually and perfect so i can move forward so if i do not have the upload directory already inside my system i can make that directory using the os dot make there's upload their function and that's all we have set up all our directories now so let's move forward we're actually building a html system so for that i have already uh, set up some html files here so first of all i have a form i have a form.html here so this is basically just a form which just says upload image and it submits the image to the slash upload endpoint which we will develop in a few seconds on our fast using our fast api and the method is obviously post because we're going to submit the form using the post method and for submitting the image files or multimedia you need to also uh, write in another parameter here which is enc type equals to multipart mart slash form data so this enables you to actually submit images or files using uh, the html forms also we can have we just have a simple uh, input here just a single input here which is a file type input and for now it just accepts image types here and this is a required input and this just a simple button for submission of this form so basically what we get from this file is that it submits the uh, image to the slash upload form so we're going to develop that slash upload endpoint inside our fast api all right so after this after i've submitted so i'm going to display my image on this page right here so this page is basically the will display the image and also uh, uh also display its uh metadata something like file name which is file info dot file name and content type is the file info dot content type this these are all the Jinja variables. So these are basically the variables which are passed through Fast API interface. So we'll pass these variables to Fast uh, Fast API, and these can be accessed inside our HTML Jinja templates. 
so as you can see file info will be passed from jinja and these are dot image url like dot content type these are all elements inside that file info variable so we just need to pass that file info and let's begin how we can move forward all right so file info is basically will be a dictionary which will contain all this information like file name content type and image url all right so let's move forward um now we can do what is we just go to images.pv and now let's start developing our endpoints so first of all i'm going to have the app dot get endpoint and this is just going to be on the root url and response class is going to be the html response because we're going to uh, return an html template from that so this is just going to be a uh, defined form page something like that and then i'm going to have a request here because that's what you have in default for the html response types endpoints of a fast api so for this the for the form page what we can have is just simply return that html page so for that we can just return templates dot template response and then the name of the template with the context passed here so i do not need to pass request as a context here but i'll just pass it for the sake of simplicity this is not at all required this will perfectly work if i remove that from here like this but i'll just pass it to let the response uh, pa be passed to the context to that endpoint all right so now we can move forward and now we can define the actual endpoint for uploading our image url so this is the endpoint where the form is actually submitted as you can see um i think it was form.html yeah slash upload is the url where our form is actually going to be submitted so for the slash upload the response class is again going to be html response because after submission we have to go to the next page and display that image there all right so let's move forward and just define async diff upload and i can pass the request as the request object and also we can have file which is going to be actually the uploaded file here so i'm going to have the upload file object being called here and unpacked right here so it is just going to get the file name input from the form which is exactly the name file here so this is the file named input from the upload from the form we get from the upload file unpacking and now what happens is this uh is actually going to be upload file equals to file unpack actually i'm sorry for the previous info but this is actually the original format of our uh file is cut 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 so file is basically going to be the type of upload file and this is going to be extracted from the file input the file input is this because the type is file and this is going to be extracted from unpacking those file inputs from the form all right moving forward so first of all what we can do is first of all define a file location so that's going to be file location equals to os.path.join and that's going to join the upload directory and the file's name which is going to be file.file name itself all right moving forward now we can do is with we can open that file so opening that file is basically using the with open function file location and i'm going to open that in the wb write binary format and i'm going to open that file as f and i'm going to use the shutils function which is copy file object so shutils dot copy file object does what is basically it will copy the whole content from that file dot file object and it will copy to the f uh, file location which is actually the upload directory slash file name inside our local system so this is going to go copy whole of the file content from this to the f location here and then we can just simply uh, do what is file we can pass the con uh, we can set the context here but it's going to be file info and uh, this is going to be something like first of all we're going to have file name so the file name is going to be file name itself uh, and also can be enabled as file dot file name then we have another variable as content type which we're going to display on the html so this is going to be file dot content type and now we can actually have the image url so the image url is basically the path of our uh, image inside our local system so that's going to be i'm just going to use a user f string for that and static slash uploads because that's where eventually all our uploads are going to go and then just the file dot file name because that's how we actually save our file using the shutil uh, function as you can see here 
the file location is basically the upload directory and the file dot file name so we and we write that file to that location using the shutil dot copy file obj function here all right perfect so we have set up our file info which is the context for our ginger template html and now we can just simply return it using the return templates dot template response for the template response what we can have is the result page which is going to be the result image dot html and then we can pass in the context here which is going to be um something like i'm going to pass request as request and then i can also pass the file info as the file info so as you can see we have developed the file info as a dictionary of various names so for the as you can see here in the result image we have extracted all three keys from the file info which are file name content type and image url and these will be used as a dynamic variable inside our uh, ginger templates inside our fast api so let's now run this application and see if it works or not so i'm going to run it using uvicorn images dot i and it runs perfectly it says application startup complete so let's see how it works all right so as you can see this is our upload an image form here so i can just upload an image here an image here i'm going to select some image here all right so let's just choose this and i've selected the one dot png right here so i'm just going to upload this here and let's see it says image uploaded successfully and and it has got me all the contents for this which is the file name as one dot png content type is image slash png and the preview of the image also which is this present right here and if you see the url of this image would be uh, the static upload slash one dot png which is where exactly it has been stored inside my fast api system so that's how you can basically work with images uh, and forms images in form submission on a fast api and i think that's it for the video guys and thanks for watching